And even though she's not a top 10 finalist, Richard Branson has requested that Specular Theory come and do a demo on Necker Island. And you're going to go, right? <laughs> yes, let's do it. Nice. And you're we getting a preview of what she's going to show Richard Branson next month. All right. Thank you, Kim. And I just want to say, too, you've done an amazing job organizing this. And it's really been a privilege and a pleasure to be a part of the Extreme Tech Challenge. Um, and thank you, Monster, for sharing your stage today. Uh, my name is Ryan Pulliam, and I'm the CMO of Specular Theory, and we are a virtual reality content creation studio and technology lab based in Venice Beach. So show of hands real quick, how many people currently share digital photos or videos online? Social media, YouTube, GoPro. OK, pretty much everyone. So imagine if you could share those moments in virtual reality so that you could literally put these goggles on and immediately be transported to another world. And you can see firsthand in your own perspective. Um, you can share your favorite trip. You could see the perspective of your daughter, a dog, your favorite pro athlete. You know, anything, is, uh, anything can happen. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration. Copeland, my lovely assistant. Who knows, who knows how to operate this, hopefully. Yeah, who can also stay vertical. Um, it should be powered on. So just so everyone knows, this is powered by um, the Samsung Note 4, and it just goes into the, uh, this case right here and acts as your screen. And there's a touchpad on the side. And so you're basically inside of a content menu, and there's a couple of different options. Um, the ones that we've created are a roller coaster and some fire spinning. And I definitely invite all of you guys to try this if you haven't tried virtual reality. If there's nothing else you do at this conference, then definitely give virtual reality a try, because it will literally blow your mind. Um, if this video will play. OK, so this is another video um, of an experience that we created at Venice Beach in our backyard. And it was shot with a custom-built camera rig that we created. If I can turn. Oh. OK, we have audio. Uh, built with a custom-built camera rig and system that we've created that we literally built from the ground up. And what's amazing about it is you get this true stereo feel. Like, it's a very incredible experience. It's turned out amazing on the Gear VR. There's also this uh, Google Cardboard, which we also developed for. And then there's the Oculus DK2. And for those of you who stick around, I've got a couple of extra cardboards to give out. Um, so this is a great example of you put the goggles on and you're immediately transported to Venice Beach and you're riding on this bike. And that's a really incredible feeling. Um, you probably should be sitting down. Copeland, how are yeah, we doing? Yeah. I really are like to go off the stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, probably not the best practices. All right. Well, thank you. Or, or wear it as long as you'd like. Um, this particular moment was interesting. It was serendipitous. But this woman sort of almost crashed into us while we were filming. Um, our camera right now is currently in development. So I don't have it here with me, but I can tell you that we were able to create something that you can hold with your hand while riding a bike um, and that it's mobile and stable enough to create virtual reality. And this particular demo, we literally shot this on a Tuesday afternoon and by Tuesday evening, we had turned it into a virtual reality experience. So our goal at Specular Theory is to empower all of you guys and to enable you to create your own virtual reality content so that you can go out there and generate whatever you like. This is another example of uh, some fire spinning. And I definitely recommend checking this out, um, particularly on the cardboard. The fire looks really cool. So these are some of our friends that, that we shot. And I should also mention, too, I have no production skills. I'm a terrible videographer. And the camera that my partner built is something that I can go out there and operate. Like, I shot this myself, which I was brag about. But, um, but that's how easy we've made it. So we're trying to make it at a minimal effort for you guys to create your own content. Um, this is just something I always say, like our world is not flat, and our view of it shouldn't be either. So I think what's amazing is just the fact that we've been looking at a 2D screen and living in this 2D world for over 100 years. And finally, for the first time, you know, we've been trying to convince ourselves we're part of that experience, that you are you know, at Venice just by looking at this screen. But the reality is it's still 2D. So what virtual reality allows you to do is you put the goggles on, and for the first time, you have to convince yourself you're actually not there. And I think that's a very, very powerful thing. Um, this is another great, just a quote by Confucius, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. And I think this really speaks for virtual reality because you can basically listen to me today and forget about it in 10 minutes, or you can see me and perhaps you'll remember my face. But the moment you try these goggles, and I invite all of you to try the headsets, 
you're going to remember and you're going to understand and you're going to see why virtual reality is so exciting and we can't wait to bring it to you guys. So I'm really curious, I, you know, I've been going to the Consumer Electronics Show in here in Las Vegas for quite a few years and 3D televisions, for example, I mean, how many years do they talk about 3D televisions and they're like, next year it's going to be mass, you know, mass adoption, we're going to see it. And we still have never seen mass adoption of 3D televisions, at least at this point. I'm curious, you know, with the virtual reality headsets and such, how long do you think it's going to take to see mass adoption? Or do you think it's still going to be a very niche market? I think it's going to snowball, but that's sort of like asking the butcher how much right. meat to eat. <laughs> so I'm a little biased, but um, there's going to be, I mean, you guys are going to see a lot of virtual reality on the floor at the show this week. And, you know, at some point we're all crossing our fingers for Oculus to announce the release date for the consumer version. But I can tell you right now as a non-technical person, just as speaking as an average consumer, I first tried this headset on the DK1 version, actually, two years ago. And I actually quit my job, literally the very next day. And the guy that showed me the demo, I was like, oh my god, I have to be a part of this. I immediately just got it. And it wasn't even at the place it is now. But I think, I think this will be much more widely available. I think with 3D, the only problem you run into is that it's, it's like an extension of an experience, but it doesn't really, it's not revolutionary. You're seeing the same content, whereas with virtual reality, you're literally inside that screen. And it's now going to be at a price point that everyone you know, can afford. So I'm curious. You're all getting the preview of what she is going to be showing Sir Richard Branson on Necker Island in another month. So as I said, you're getting the preview. What are you going to show him? What experience, just to give us a preview, what are you going to show him? What experience are you going to give him? For Any Richard ideas? Branson? Yeah. Hopefully his own experience. <laughs> um, I think our goal is, you know, we're my business partner and I, the CEO, are avid kite surfers and we are action sports enthusiasts and we really built this system for action sports. So I think, you know, with him, we've got a great demo for the Venice Beach and the fire spinning and I think it's enough to ignite some good interest in getting him on the kiteboard. So all of you guys can go kiteboarding with him. That would be absolutely amazing. And so where can they try this out? I'm sure. How many of you want to actually try this out? Yes. I think right. they do. And for those who do, I have a couple of cardboards to give away. This is sort of the entryway, by the way, into virtual reality. Um, it doesn't cost much. It's very low cost, but it works incredible and gives you this lifelike experience. So um, I can do the demo. Maybe I could just step off to the side. or That'd be fantastic. Who wants one of these for free? Uh, oh, see, there you go. Right. You I'll just have you to pick. say free. Oh, <laughs> you're going to make me do it? Totally. OK. So. If you can promise me that you're going to show up to the Extreme Tech Challenge Finals on Thursday, <laughs> right? And if, wherever Sabina is, right over here, she takes your name down, she'll put you on the VIP list, and you get one of these. Is that a deal? Sabina, you might want to stand on over here. I think you're going to get mobbed. <laughs> oh, look at that right over there. We got two of them. So if they promise to go... These two are theirs. I'll let you go ahead and hand those two off. Ryan right. Pullman, nice Thank preview you. of what Richard Branson is going to see fairly soon from Specular Theory. So if you want, she's going to step on over there. And if you want, you can line up on over there and give a, give a try to her virtual reality headsets.